Hey guys, Scott Reekers here with Eastman's Hunting Journals. And today I'm here in the high country doing a little bit of glassing, looking for elk, looking for mule deer in a spot where some friends have some elk tags. And today we are going to dive deep into the Cryptech Altitude series, which features Scholar technology. Cryptech is the only brand inside our hunting space that has Scholar technology. And we are really going to talk about what that looks like and make sure that you have an understanding and why that's something you should look into for your own personal hunting gear. Down to just about freezing. I'm wearing the Bora pant. Now, this is exclusively in Cryptex altitude pattern. This green, this black, and this gray matches very well all the patterns that you see and the colors that you see up here at high altitude. One of the pieces that's unique about this is it's made from premium Scholar fabric. Scholar claims to be the best textile manufacturer in the world. Guys, I'm a six foot five guy. I'm not a little guy, and this thing fits me well. Generally speaking, I wear athletic cut. This has an athletic cut. A lot of times you're hiking in long distances to places in the high altitude that this, this material is made for. And so in being in places of high altitude, it takes work. It's a lot of work to get over 10,000 feet. We're at 9,670 feet right now. And so if it doesn't have an athletic cut, if it doesn't have a four-way stretch, it's not gonna be comfortable. This Bora pant has both of those. Now getting to the technical side, this Bora pant is covered in a DWR, which stands for Durable Water Repellent, and that is a Scholar Nanosphere technology that comes with that. And so it's a great material that does a good job of water resistance. Over the 4th of July, I was camping and we wore this. I wore it and we got rained on literally every day. I wore the Bora pant out and in real world terms, this thing did not let the water through. Doesn't claim to be 100% waterproof, it's a soft shell. Most soft shells don't. But on the same end with the Bora pant, I never got wet and that's that Scholar technology. The Bora pants are also suspender compatible. I know there are quite a few people who like to wear suspenders when they're, when they're hunting and hiking. So if that is you, they're suspender compatible. So these are also pants that, you know, sometimes your inner thighs rub together and you can rub things. And so they've got what's called anti-chafing labels inside. And so, yes, it was really hard for me to actually say this seriously in a gear review, but they work. It's also abrasion resistant. I made a point while I was camping to walk through brush and see, hey, is this stuff gonna snag? Nope, it doesn't. It's an expensive piece of equipment, but that's just it. It's a piece of equipment. It is a tool in your arsenal that is going to make you more comfortable while you're hunting in the high country. All right, so next up, you can see that I am wearing a soft shell jacket in the Cryptech Altitude. This is the Tora jacket. This jacket is highly breathable, 65% nylon, 26% micro nylon, which means it's going to move well. Again, coming back to that athletic cut, you can see there's some stretch here. You can move. It's great for doing things like this. When you're glassing, you're going to stretch right in this pit area and you're going to move around. If your jacket does not move with you while you are doing that, that's a problem and it's going to be very uncomfortable, and you're gonna find yourself torquing and contorting yourself to mess with your clothing. This particular piece has the Scholar dry skin technology. Well, what does that mean in real world terms? It means that it's going to be breathable. It's also going to be water resistant and water repellent. You can see there's some clouds that are moving around up here. I wasn't too worried about that because of the materials that I'm wearing. Right now, I'm in a situation where I'm not gonna to have to go diving into my pack to get my rain gear, I've got a material that for one of these quick flash rainstorms that happens so often in the high country, I'm equipped to deal with it quickly. The next piece of this, this particular jacket is it dries very quickly with the Scholar technology. And so all of those pieces make for a very functional jacket that works very well. I've got this directly over the Valhalla base layer. And so that's all I'm wearing right now. And I'm very comfortable in a steady wind with a lot of different weather systems going around. What happens when that inclement weather comes? You wanna be prepared. And so with that, the next piece in the Altitude series that I wanna take a look at is the Bora jacket. Goes with the Bora pants. It's heavier than the, than the jacket that I'm wearing right now, the Tora. A little bit thicker. 
It's got the pit zips, so if you need to move around a bit. But the coolest piece that this has is what's called the Sea Change Technology. Scholler designed their membrane so that it would open and close. And on the inside, it'll open and it will allow moisture to come out because your body, you sweat, okay? Once you start moving, you sweat and you need to be able to get rid of that. Well, the Sea Change technology moves it out, but on the top, it's closed so that the rain can't get in. This Bora jacket has that and Cryptek has it labeled as waterproof jacket. I can vouch that I never got wet. I can't speak highly enough about this soft shell jacket. The next piece that I want to talk about is the Takur rain jacket and pants. I got to test their jacket out quite a bit on uh, several elk hunts. I also had a friend who wore it last year on an October 15th elk hunt. We really have put that jacket through the paces and these are the pants that come with it to match it. I really struggle with any rain pants that don't have side zips that go almost all the way up. This makes putting them on and taking them off very easy. It's very, it's all about the function and the functionality and I love that feature. You can see that you're able to have more than one latch on this button that's going to keep that tighter around your boots if you so desire. If you don't want this thing letting any water in, just tighten it in closer. So it will also complement a set of gaiters really well. Also has the sea change technology, but this is a dedicated rain pant. One of the purposes that I use my rain pant for is breaking the wind. When it starts getting really cold, especially towards the end of September, then heading into the October and the November seasons, your rain gear functions as a fantastic insulation piece. Now, it's it doesn't have and carry like it would say like a Prima Loft, which Cryptek also has with their guard jacket. It's not that type of insulation, but it's going to hold a lot of that air in and it's going to keep you warm. So this goes over, uh, over say, a pants like this, like the Bora. You can add an extra layer with this dedicated rain pant. This is going to protect you more than what is actually probably ever going to hit you in a, a single high country storm. A distinction that this pant has as being 100% waterproof. It's claimed by Cryptek. I've tested the jacket and it does fantastic in the rain. I've tested it two years in a row. So the question about longevity, many people ask, well, why do I need a six, $700 jacket? Well, longevity. I've gone cheap on the rain gear. And when I've gone cheap on the rain gear, it's not lasting me very long. And I end up buying several hundred dollar sets, several hundred fifty dollar sets. And by the time it's all said and done over the course of three years, I've spent close to $700 on rain gear when I could have been one and done and still be going with it. That's the part that's really, 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 really important is that you will still have it and you'll have it for a lot longer. Now, <clears throat> how does the Scholler technology how does it go about actually not letting water in? Well, one of the things that Scholler decided they wanted to do is we're going to imitate nature. What pieces of nature don't allow water in? And in a video that we're going to reference in the description, you can see that they reference pine. Well, pine trees, the needles, they drip water off. Well, how does that work? It never lets the water in to begin with, and so it doesn't allow it to bond. This is not going to allow water to bond with it. That's how it stays waterproof. And so oils and water are not going to attach to this fabric and this material. We went out for a photo shoot in some rain and we tested this out and it was pretty cool watching all of the rain just beat up and roll off the top of this, this pant and this jacket series. So guys, thanks for coming here to High Altitude to see the High Altitude series from Cryptek. And make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and that you have turned on the notifications, hit that little bell to make sure that you are getting notifications every time we come out with a video for more gear reviews like these, so you can see the latest episodes of Beyond the Grid TV, as well as all our webisode exclusives that we post up on Eastman's Hunting Journal's YouTube channel.